Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Let's revisit a question that came up in Podcast 621. Back then, we were talking about using the function arguments when we have an array formula. So we display function arguments, fill in the function arguments, and you see down here in the function argument says that it's going to return an array. Now, the person who asked the question said, when I press Control Shift Enter, it does not correctly enter the formula as an array. And when I tried it, it also didn't work. And so I, you know, kind of asked at the end of that podcast, I said, you know, it, is there any way to get this function arguments to work? A few people wrote in, you know, Joel Berg was the first one. He said, hey, what are you talking about? Just press Control Shift Enter and it works. And I was starting to argue with, with Joel and I said, no, it doesn't. But then I tried it and sure enough, it worked perfectly. Now, it turns out that when I tried it the first time, I had used function arguments and then I had switched back to the email. So I'd used Alt Tab to go back to the email, Alt Tab to come back here to Excel. And even though function arguments was visible above the screen, I had not returned focus. Um, it turns out I had a click in the title bar, just something that simple, returns focus, and then Control Shift Enter, sure enough, enters the value. So pretty wild. If you've ever had the function arguments not work, and it happens that you've switched to another application, somehow you're losing focus. It seems to be uh, certainly a problem in Vista. Um, I have Excel 2003 running Vista, and it works there. This older machine, which is running Windows XP, seems to handle it okay. Um, so it actually seems to be a newer problem. Now, a couple of other guys, um, Bob Meany and Michael Gervin, wrote in, and they said, you know, hey, uh, you know, if you want to avoid the, the array formula completely, you know line ST is going to give you two values, basically, in a row. So you could ask for the index of line ST, um, create the function, and in this case, say we want the first row, first value. That will give us the slope, and then ask for the index of line ST, enter the function again. And this time, ask for the first row, second value. That'll give us the y-intercept. Um, and they said, you know, you can just avoid the whole problem of entering array formulas to begin with. Ask for the specific values. And you can get them easily without using Control-Shift-Enter. So either way, that finally clears up that problem back in Podcast 621. Um, thanks to everyone who wrote in. We'll be sending Excel master pins out. So thank you for your contributions. Thanks to you for stopping by. And we'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.